This is a video demonstration for running single and batch payments using the Pineapple Payments QuickBooks integrated application. We'll start with processing a single transaction. To begin, you should have already logged into your QuickBooks company file. Navigate to the Customers menu and find Pineapple. Our sub-menu appears and then you can choose Process Payment. As the dialog box opens, it's reading from your QuickBooks company file in order to pull in your customer data and invoice information. Select the customer you want to charge. For the purposes of this demonstration, we'll select Daffy Duck. When the customer is selected, you'll see their total amount owed across all invoices, as well as details like billing information and shipping information. All of this is pulled from that customer's record in QuickBooks. In the upper right corner, you have options in choosing how you want to apply this particular payment. By default, it's going to apply the payment to all open invoices, but you can choose to apply the payment to a specific invoice, in which case you'll see a new drop-down menu appear where you can see the various invoices on the customer's account and select a particular one for payment. The dollar amount owed will update for that particular invoice. You can also change the amount if you're making only a partial payment. The description is automatically populated, in this case saying the payment for invoice number 5, but you can also change that to whatever you'd like. There are data management options regarding the customer information as well. Here you can see that the billing info for this customer is 2345 Rodeo Drive. If instead they're on Rodeo Street, you can make that change and check the box at the top to update the existing QuickBooks customer. With this selection, whatever change you make, such as updating the address, will be permanently written back to this customer's record in QuickBooks. If you don't check the box to update the QuickBooks customer, then your change will only be used for this one-time transaction. With the amount set and the customer's invoice selected, you're now ready to enter payment details. You'll select the payment type, such as Visa, enter the required card number and expiration date, as well as the optional card security code. The CVV number is not stored for future use and will only be used for this one-time transaction. Before you process the transaction, there's a checkbox here that says, this data will be saved in the Pineapple Payment Safe, which is our tokenization system. This means that when you process this transaction, you're also choosing to store the customer's card on file so the next time you charge your customer, you'll have the card ready and you won't need to re-enter it. If you do not want to store the data, uncheck the box so that this card number will only be used for this one-time transaction. With the transaction preferences set, you're now ready to click Process and Close. Immediately, you'll get a mini result box. It shows the transaction was successful and displays the status message and transaction ID. If this had been a real transaction, there would be AVS information and other details as well. Once you click OK, you're routed to the standard Receive Payment screen of QuickBooks itself, where you can see how this transaction was applied. The field reference number has a number automatically populated from the gateway. The G stands for gateway, and the number after it is the Pineapple Gateway Transaction ID number so that you can always reference the actual financial transaction when looking at this QuickBooks payment record in the future. You can make changes to the way this payment was applied if you'd like, or simply click Save and Close to finish. This completes our process of running a single payment. Now let's see how this process works for running a batch of payments. To get started, find Pineapple on the Customers menu, and this time choose Run Batch. As the dialog box opens, you have a few different options to start with. First, choose to filter customers based on the customer modification date, the invoice date, or the due date, which is the date payment is due as calculated per the terms of the invoice. You can also click filter to pull up a list of all customers that meet two criteria. One is that they have a balance due, and two is that they have a safe ID number, meaning they have previously provided payment data that was securely stored in the Pineapple Payments Gateway. Once the list comes up, all customers are selected by default, but you can select customers on the right side to add and remove them from the list as necessary. There are Select All and Select None functions down at the bottom to make that faster. 
You also have the ability to change the dollar amount owed for a particular customer. For example, clicking on Tasmanian Devil's dollar amount for $8,000, you can enter a partial payment of $10. Once the list is refined the way that you'd like, click Run Batch. A small dialog box appears showing you each transaction as it's being processed. It takes about two seconds per transaction, and then you get a summary showing the total number of records attempted, the total number of successes, and the total number of failures. Once you click Close, you can also go back to the Customers menu, click on Pineapple, and select to view batch reports. From here, you can access the different batches, all marked with a time and date stamp where you can view the complete list of transactions and results. You can also click Show File in order to open this information into an Excel spreadsheet where you can crunch numbers, import this data to another system, or manage it however you see fit. Finally, you can see right away by looking at a customer's balance that running a successful single or batch of transactions also automatically generates the payment record inside of QuickBooks. You can verify that on the financial end by logging into your Pineapple Payments Gateway account. Go to Reports, select Transaction, and you can search a few different ways, including a transaction source filter of QuickBooks. In this case, we'll search for today's date, and here we can see all the transactions processed. Each transaction is color-coded depending on the result. To view additional details, click the magnifying glass and see all of the information that was processed with this particular transaction. You could take follow-up actions like emailing a new receipt, running a new sale from this information, or voiding the transaction. This completes our video demonstration of single and batch processing using our QuickBooks integrated app. I recommend reviewing our QuickBooks user guide and other video demonstrations. For additional support, please contact your sales representative.